Hello everyone and welcome to another theatre vlog. I'm starting today's vlog out on the balcony because there's the most amazing sunset and I wanted to show you, uh, so I'll do that in a second. Tonight I'm heading to the Globe. I'm going to see Romantics Anonymous at the Sam Wanamaker Playhouse, which is a venue I've never been to. I've been to the Globe before. I went to see Nell Gwynn there earlier this year, but uh, that was obviously the main space at the Globe. So I'm really excited to see what this part of the Globe is like and I've heard really good things about the show so I'm super excited to see it. Yeah, let's just look at the sunset for a sec. <laughs> now the interval of Romantics Anonymous. I've just come outside because it was quite warm when I went into the Sam Wanamaker Playhouse. I wasn't expecting it to be that warm. So yeah, I just thought I'd come out and get some fresh air. I was trying to get St. Paul's in the shop, but I don't know where it is. Oh, it's over there. Um, yeah, this is a really nice little venue, actually. I say that, it's, it's a nice venue, but not for like the actual seating and the comfort. Like, it's quite painful. So I'm on the, obviously, the upper gallery. Uh, I think that's what it's called. And... I'm on in the middle section on the back row and I thought oh that'll be that'll be fine I'll have something to lean against um, but it's it's not comfy um, the show is really lovely though um, I tried to get a clip I'm not sure how clear it was uh, basically before the show some of the cast members are coming around with little um, baskets of chocolates so they everyone got a chocolate essentially um, I was greedy <laughs> had mine before the show started um, because they were talking in French, because the show is, uh, I think the film is French. I don't know, I could be totally lying there. But basically at the start of the show, they were speaking in French and then they instructed everyone to eat the chocolates. And then it was like magical chocolate that then everyone started speaking English. So that's quite funny. And I was like, whoops, already had mine, oh well. Um, but the whole notion of getting people to unwrap their sweet slash chocolates at the start of the show. <laughs> Not sure how much of a fan I am of that idea, but no, it's really nice. It's just a really lovely little show and it's got a fantastic cast actually. So I kind of forgot before coming here. I just booked it literally last night and yeah, Joanna Riding and Lauren Samuels and I think it's Carly Borden, I think is the main female lead. Um, I can't remember what the, the main guy's actual performer's name is. Um, I'm gonna grab a program, I think. Or I'm gonna see how much they are and potentially pick one up. Um, but yeah, it's really, really nice. I'm loving the, the set as well. There's lots of like neon and Edison bulbs and I love that. So that's cool. So yeah, it's really nice. Uh, Rebecca Traherne walked past me in the toilets. So, you know, standard night at the theater. It's all, it's all good. Um, I'm gonna hop back in now, potentially grab a drink. Someone on theater board, which I'm obsessed with at the moment, um, said to hang around to not spend all of the interval like either in the toilets or in the uh, 
in the, the auditorium. Apparently something happens in the foyer, so I'm going to go back in and see what happens there, or if anything happens there, um, and obviously try and film that and show you, and enjoy the rest of the show, and then I'll catch up with you afterwards. Don't like any chocolate, do not drink too much, <laughs> if you're here to get some, just be careful, what you touch, you might slip and fall, but don't take the lift for fear the if you're in the pub, stewards may not let you in if you should lose your stuff. Out there in the courtyard, lightning may strike, or you may run into someone whom you do not like. If you don't do anything, nothing can go wrong. There's much to fear when watching plays. Why all those chandeliers and candles, they could set the globe ablaze. Those wooden seats could numb your bum. A night where you avoid the theatre is an evening that is optimum. Act two could be tragic. Set the place. This could be a musical that leaves us all depressed. and welcome back to the chatty section of the vlog. As you saw, I went to see Romantics Anonymous at the Sam Wanamaker Playhouse at the Globe Theatre. This was a new venue for me. I have been to the Globe before. My first visit was actually to see Nell Gwynn earlier on this year. So uh, yeah, it's my, only my second visit to the Globe this year and ever. I'd been hearing really good things about this show. The music and lyrics are by Kuman and Diamond, who are a duo that I have been to one of their concerts before. Um, back in 2012, uh, they were here for a concert. So I, I kind of, I knew that I enjoyed their music and I knew what their previous style was like. So I thought, well, that's a selling point right there. I want to go and see what they're up to. Emma Rice did the book for this show and also directed it. She's currently artistic director of the Globe Theatre, but I believe this is her last show at the Globe. So I thought, okay, that's another reason to see it. The casting of the show intrigued me because there are a couple of familiar faces such as Lauren Samuels and Joanna Riding and also Mark Antolin, who I've seen in previous productions. So I thought, well, blimey, I've got to go see this show. <laughs> Romantics Anonymous is based off of a film, Les Emotifs Anonymes, uh, but I've watched a couple of like their little trailers and such that they've got on the Globe's YouTube page. And in one of them, Joanna Riding actually mentions that Emma Rice kind of wanted them to not watch the film maybe um, because they were going in a sort of different direction. I've not seen the film, so now I really want to watch it to see how different it was to the show. Obviously, when it's something is um, translated to stage, there are probably going to be tweaks. As I mentioned, this was my first visit to the Sam Wanamaker Playhouse, and I was really intrigued. I'd seen a couple of photos of the set, but I didn't know exactly kind of what the actual space looked like. It was cute, and it was cosy, and it did have a sort of like romantic vibe to it, which obviously like fits well with the show. It's mainly like candle lit which is pretty cute I have to say <laughs> however the seats were not comfy in my opinion I managed to find a discount code which sadly by the time this video goes up won't be applicable anymore so the seat that I was in it was meant to be I think just under 50 pounds and I don't feel like I would have been happy paying 50 pounds for a seat that wasn't really comfortable the show was fantastic but I, yeah, I wouldn't feel comfortable paying 50 quid 
to not be comfortable. I ended up only spending 20 pounds. Lovely for the bank account, not so lovely for the back. <laughs> Romantics Anonymous was led by Carly Borden, who played Angelique, and Dominic Marsh, who played Jean René. And as I said, there were a few familiar faces in the cast as well, so that was really nice. The show is about uh, a chocolate maker, Angelique, and another chocolate maker, but primarily a chocolate shop owner, who both suffer from social anxiety and the show is about how fate kind of brings them together. It was my first time seeing Carly and Dominic in any show and I thought that they played their roles really wonderfully. The chemistry between them was really natural and also the way they played their social anxiety was very natural as well. When I think about it, anxiety is kind of a weird thing to play on stage if you are not an anxious person, it must be kind of difficult to step into that mindset and attitude for a performance. Quite an interesting thing to think about. It was really lovely to see Lauren Samuels on stage again. I knew that she was a swing in the show, but I didn't realize that she was an onstage swing. So it was great to actually see her on stage. Before the show, uh, cast members were actually kind of in the audience in a sense, giving out chocolates. And I got a chocolate from Lauren Samuels, which was awesome. And I'll admit, I was like, cool, free chocolate, thanks. And had it before the show started. And then there was a moment at the start where they were, they were speaking in French. And then the whole thing was, you eat the chocolate or the, like they got the whole audience to eat the chocolate. And then it was like magic chocolate and translated the French to English. And I was like, whoops. I didn't wait. <laughs> Joanna Riding is just a class act. I've seen her in a few shows now, um, just kind of by coincidence really. Uh, the last thing I saw her in was The Girls and she's just fantastic. I love watching her in shows and especially in the roles that she was playing in this show, she had like a few roles to play. She was just so funny. And I feel like I've not really seen her be able to be like that comedic. So that was a really nice thing to watch. I really loved the creativity of this show, especially in terms of the lighting. They had, as you will have seen in clips, um, the sort of signs above the set that would light up at different moments to indicate kind of the scene that they were in. It was really funny because as they would light up, it would be like a moment. So either a character would sort of look up to it as it would light up or there'd be a, a musical moment of the scene changing and I just really liked that. I'm a sucker for like cool lights and things so I was happy with watching that. <laughs> the piece as a whole felt like very whimsical which totally worked with the story and it was just something I really enjoyed watching. There's such a heart to this show. It's really charming and sweet as you would expect a show about chocolate to be and I think it's the perfect thing to see over the holiday season because it's, it's a perfect winter warmer really. Even though there are a couple of like sad moments from the aspect of anxiety, it also shows how you can learn to deal with it in life and overcome it. Romantics Anonymous is playing at the Sam Wanamaker Playhouse until the 6th of January, so you've still got a good amount of time to see it, and I'd highly recommend that you do. I'd love to know if you've already been to see it, do let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you'd like to see more of me in the future. I hope you're doing really well and I will see you very soon. Bye!